Australia is the world's driest inhabited continent. This is the seventh year of a drought which is particularly severe because of climate change. These are the lower lakes at the mouth of the Murray River in the south of the country. The Fisher family has farmed dairy cows here for five generations. But now, Leslie and Mike Fisher can only look at the land on which their 700 cattle used to graze. Six years ago, the warning signs should have been up there saying, the river's in trouble, it's not flushing out, it's not flowing, nothing was done. And this is what we've got. I mean, I should be under a metre and a half of water here. Not on a quad bike, this is just ridiculous. I mean, and, and no one cares. It's not just the fishers. Farmers all along the river and its tributaries are giving up. The effect will be devastating. They provide nearly half of Australia's food supply. I'd read every calf in our dairy, and when we had to sell them and we put them on the truck, wasn't, wasn't nice. None of us enjoyed doing that. I think all of us sort of disintegrated. We all had our time at the back of the yard. It was terrible. The dying of the Murray River deeply worries experts like Mike Young from Adelaide University. We made the mistake of assuming the drought would come for one or two years and then we'd go back to an old wet regime. As a result of that, we ran our dams down too quickly. We started closing off all the wetlands to keep on trying to find more and more water. We found every last drop, but we have run everything down so far below empty, we're now in serious strife. The acidity of the water in some stretches of the Lower Murray is now so strong it will soon be virtually unusable. At some stage, in the, possibly in the very near future, the entire system is going to become undrinkable. The city's 1.3 million inhabitants are heavily dependent on the Murray River. As the river dries out, so does the city. I would urge every country around the world to come and look at Australia and learn how not to plan for climate change and by doing that learning from our mistakes to work out what has to be done to survive this horrible problem the world seems to be wrestling with.